hey you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl t back again with another video so y'all today's video is going to be a cooking vlog i'm going to be cooking with you all we're going to be making some fried fish some baked macaroni and cheese and some broccoli so if you have not already hit that subscribe button make sure you go ahead and do that make sure you like the video and make sure you turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any time that i upload and y'all we're gonna get right into this meal i'm gonna show you guys everything that i have here and i'm gonna show you kind of like step by step on what i do and how i prepare it okay so this is everything that i have so i got my fish right here this is flounder fish we have some broccoli florets right here this is the fish fry that i'm gonna be using the louisiana fish Fish fry i normally use that with some flour so i gotta get the flour out these are all the seasonings that we're going to be using today we have some noodles right here for our baked macaroni and cheese we got some creamy mozzarella we got some sharp cheddar i'm gonna i gotta grade this up y'all um some sharp cheddar some more sharp cheddar um and then the monterey jack cheese this is some leftover gouda cheese right here and i believe some mild cheese i'm gonna use all of that just so that way it doesn't go to waste and i also have some heavy whipping cream and some butter that i'm going to be using but i'm gonna keep that in there just to keep it nice and cool until we get to that part but right now i do have my water boiling for my noodles and i'm about to season the water with a little bit of chicken bouillon this is for my noodles just want to sprinkle a little bit, not too much. That's enough. And then we're going to drop the noodles up in there. We're going to use the rest that's in here. So we're going to use the rest. Pour that up in there. Hopefully that's enough. If it's not, I'm going to make it enough, okay? A spoon and stir. And we're going to let that cook, okay? Okay, so I got my broccoli and some water. This is just cold water and I got that just thawing out so it's easier to cook. But right here we have our fish and we're gonna season this and let it sit in the seasoning while we grate our cheese. So let's season this food, baby. All right, so we're gonna use some garlic. Some garlic powder. Y'all can season y'all's however y'all want. This is just how I season mine. Some complete. Put a generous amount. Because we want it to be seasoned. And you want to taste the seasoning on the food. Some adobo. Go kind of light on the adobo because the adobo has salt in it. You don't want your food salty. Okay. Some paprika for color. You ain't got to put a lot. Just a little. A little sun sun. Some ground black pepper. Boom. Okay. Some onion powder um some seafood seasoning oh child a little bit of that there we go and we're gonna do some obey as well Okay. We also got some mustard. We're just going to put a little bit of that up there. This is going to help keep the seasoning on the meat. And we're also going to use some eggs to help coat it and keep that flour mixture on. So I got me a little bowl for my egg. Yeah, I ain't never had no fancy eggs like this before. This is coming a fancy clear case and stuff uh oh okay brown eggs y'all this is the first time 
I ever had some brown eggs. But that one was on sale. Okay. We need a whisk. Matter of fact, I don't need no whisk. So, one egg. And we're going to take a fork. And we're going to whisk. Take this egg wash and we're gonna pour it on top of this fish. Now we're gonna use our hands and we're just gonna massage. We're gonna massage this all up in here. Don't matter what it looked like. We just want it to be nice and seasoned. Make sure you be careful with the fish because it'll fall apart. So nice and delicate you can put your hands in and everything in it and you love on the food that's when it tastes good y'all might not like it or y'all might not like what i'm doing but trust me food always come out fire i always get compliments on my food and how good it tastes and i'm not trying to toot my own horn but i'm just stating facts you know what i'm saying so yeah, get that all up in there. That egg wash and mixtures and stuff. Mm-hmm. Period. So your fish should look like that once you finish. So I'm gonna let that sit and we're gonna grate some cheese, baby. It's gonna be a quick and simple and easy meal. Y'all was at Target tonight and forgot to get a daggone grater. Mm-mm-mm. Now I got one of these little handheld ones, but maybe I need a bigger one. But we just gonna do what we got. And that's what we got, okay? I'm about to break a daggone sweat here and watch. Because that little handheld one is not it. I had used it on Mother's Day and y'all was in here sweating like a daggone pig. Y'all see all this cheese I got a grade? And I know some of y'all probably gonna be like, why didn't you just get the bag one? Y'all, I don't know what it is, but it's just something about getting all bag cheese. It don't come out the right way. Don't use all bag cheese for your big macaroni and cheese. Some of it you can use bagged, but not all of it. Grade your cheese, baby. Love yours. All right, y'all. So the noodles is done for the Big Mac. I'm gonna drain them. Okay. Make sure you drain them good. Do not run them under cold water. I remember somebody told me to do that. I'm like, what? No, you want them. To, you want the cheese to melt. Perfect amount. Okay. We're gonna put some butter up in here. Or some margarine, because I know how y'all like to tussle in these comments. That's not butter. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny. But we're gonna put some butter up in there. Keep it moist. 
and get out a little bit of the sauce. Right. Losing some noodles now. Alright. Boom. Now, now you're gonna take your seasonings and season. Just like you would do some meat, you're gonna do the same thing to your baked macaroni and cheese. Season. Okay. That was um all-purpose seasoning. This is onion powder right here. Put a little bit of that. Okay. We're gonna do some adobo. Not too much because that's salty, y'all. So just a little sprinkle, sprinkle. We're gonna do some black pepper. Okay, a little bit of complete. Oh, excuse me. And some garlic powder. And that's enough. I'm gonna get out of the toss. All right, baby. Is y'all keeping up with me? So, we got that all nice and coated with that. Now, we're going to add in our cheese. So, we're going to add in some sharp cheddar cheese. So, we're going to add that up in there. We're going to add in some Gouda. Just put the rest of that Gouda up in there. Yep. Some Gouda. Just like that. Yes, ma'am. We're gonna put some Monterey up in there. Not too much, y'all. Just enough. And we're gonna mix that in. Add some heavy whipping cream. Dang, I can never open this. I'll add some heavy whipping cream. That's what's gonna help keep this moist. It's okay if it's clumpy too, because what I'm gonna do is put it in the oven, let it melt a little bit, and I'm gonna take it out, mix it up, top it with some more cheese, and I'm gonna put it back in to bake some more. Put some mozzarella in here. So I know it look I know it, I know it's looking funny, but y'all trust the process. Trust the process. I'm gonna let this bake for a little bit just to get it hot. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna mix it up, and I'm gonna top it with some more cheese. Y'all gonna see. So let's put this bad boy in the oven. Matter of fact, I throw some foil up on top of here, just like that. I'm gonna let this go for about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna let that melt. All right, y'all, so 
I got the deep fryer on. We're gonna deep fry these. And they sat and they're coated now. And I'm about to make the breading mixture. So, got the fish fry right there. And I need flour. Oh, we got some flour. Okay. Put some of that in there. About that much. I'm gonna get our flour. And we're gonna put some flour up in there. About that much. And we're gonna just toss that up together. And what this is gonna do is make the breading not so hard because sometimes the breading can be like real gritty and like hard so i just mix it with a little bit of flour so we can get that nice crispy consistency and crunch there we go. period all right so we're gonna drop some of these pieces of fish up in this Um, it's not ready yet. The grease ain't ready yet. So we just want to toss the two of these in here. shaking up all right y'all so the grease is ready we're about to drop these fish up in this bad boy get it out hold on let's see go nice clean piece of fish here's another going in right. okay why can I get this thing in there we go So we're gonna check this macaroni. That cheesy gooey ooey gooey mm-hmm mix that all up we're gonna add a little bit more of heavy whipping cream oh child I'm dropping it heavy whipping cream just so it doesn't dry out make sure I get every noodle <laughs>
The last time I made this, my mom and my brother said it was delicious. My brother actually told my mom, he was like, Ma, see, I'm the macaroni and cheese tastes better than yours. Man, I was like, what a compliment. <laughs> but nah, my mom, she can cook too. She definitely can cook. But she was even impressed. She was like, oh my God, Tiana, that macaroni and cheese was delicious. So I'm going to keep making it like this. Put some more heavy whipping cream up in there. We don't want it to dry out. I'm gonna throw some more cheese up in here for some color. Mix that up in there. It's gonna bake for like another 15 minutes and I don't want it to dry out we're gonna put the rest of this cheese on top we gotta hurry up and get back to that fish because it don't take long for it to fry This is done, baby. You see that? Beautiful. I'm gonna drop some more in a second. Okay, let's cover this back up. Hold on. We missing the paprika. Paprika. Boom. All right. Big Mac going back in. For another 15 to 20 minutes. Alright. And just the FYI, I put the oven on 400. If you have a gas stove, you might not need it that high, but mine's is electric and it take a lot for it to heat up real hot. And I need it real hot to melt that cheese because we don't want any clumps. Okay, baby, almost finished, okay? Alright y'all, so our broccoli is going. I'm gonna put a little bit of adobo up in there. Some chicken bouillon. Y'all, if y'all want y'all vegetables to be top tier, put a little chicken bouillon in there. Some garlic. black pepper some onion powder and a little bit of complete some margarine you and you be eating my food so 
I gotta, I gotta be doing something, right? Right or wrong? My mom is such a little hater. She is such a hater. No, I'm in the kitchen, chefing it up. That's what I'm doing. Oh, now you chef boy or Bump a cooking. Yeah. So. There we go. I want you to put my chocolate in the microwave for Simmer. And then that's going to be done. Once that's done, then the baked macaroni and cheese will be done. Matter of fact, I'm going to check it in a few minutes and I'm going to see what the top is looking like. If I need to keep it in there a little bit longer or put it on the royal. Who's going to first grade? You are. Who said? Say I'm not smart. I'm a genius. You are. I've been telling him that since he was a baby. Oop, child. Yeah, it's late, Eli. And we gotta still eat. I need to put that on broil. It melted. I just got to put it on broil. So to brown the top. Y'all, okay. don't let me forget that it's in the oven on broil because I will forget. No, you big teeth. You don't have to catch this big teeth. All right, y'all. So the food is done. This is the baked macaroni and cheese. This is the broccoli. It looks. It look and smells so good. And this is the fish. Mommy, want the rice water? No, not yet. You you hungry? You ready to eat? Have some ice water. Are you hungry and ready to eat? Yeah. Have okay. some ice water. Okay. Give me some. That's not ice water. That's nasty. That tastes like Pepsi. Oh, no wonder. Okay. Do you want any of this food? I just want a little bit of macaroni and cheese and a piece of fish. I don't want the broccoli because that's what I make my stomach. I mean, it's going to give me something burp. What else? They're the nastiest burps on earth. It tastes like eggs. Eggs? All right, y'all. So dinner is served. We got the baked mac, the fried fish, and the broccoli. The macaroni and cheese didn't set yet, so that's why it's like like that. But once it's sit and cool off, it's gonna be nice and firm. So we finna grub, y'all. Yeah. 